right, this video is going over reaction graphs and also catalysts in terms of enzymes and what they have to do with those graphs. So this is what a enzyme graph or a chemical reaction graph typically looks like. A few things to point out on the y-axis, we've got energy or the amount of energy. On the x-axis, we have reaction time. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and identify what each of these letters represents on the graph. When we are talking about what goes into a reaction, we are talking about the term reactants. So reactants either make or break in chemical reactions to produce a product. So when we are talking about this graph, we have two main lines here and here. This is where it starts, this is where it ends. So reactants would go at A. So A is where we would put reactants. What is produced is called the products. So in a chemical reaction, what actually is the result of the assignment is called the products. So that would go at B. Think about this as a roller coaster. Okay, the reactants are the people going in, the products are the people ending the roller coaster. The activation energy is actually where the energy is built up to follow through with the reactants, much like a roller coaster going up a hill. Okay, so when we're going up a hill on a roller coaster, that part that goes chick, 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 we are building up energy to use throughout the entire reaction. This place right here is the amount of energy it requires to actually follow through with the reaction. So letter C would be the activation energy. When we are looking at this graph, there are two separate lines. They both have the same amount of reactants, they both have the same amount of products, but they have different amounts of activation energy. How an enzyme works is it speeds up the reaction by lowering that activation energy. It still has the same reactants, it still has the same products, it just has a different activation energy. So which one of these would be the enzyme? Which one would be faster? This one or this one? Which one has the shorter path? The green line or the bottom line. So the bottom line would be the reaction with the enzyme. Okay. The top line would be the reaction without the enzyme, okay? So the way an enzyme works is it still starts at the same spot, it still ends at the same spot, but it has a less or a lower threshold of energy to actually get started, okay? The other thing I wanna talk about with this graph is whether or not it is exothermic or endothermic, okay? Exo means energy released, endothermic means energy absorbed or gained. So when we're looking at this graph, you can see that the reactants are higher than the products in terms of energy. So did it lose energy overall or did it gain energy overall? Well, we started here with this amount. Okay, we ended here with this amount. So there was energy lost, there was energy lost. So therefore this reaction would be a great example of an exothermic reaction.